Welcome back, guys. On this episode of My Drive, we talked to Steve Arpin, global rallycross superstar and a down to earth Canadian boy. So at the Red Bull Global Rallycross event in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, you got a chance to interview Steve Arpin. Uh, he's been a driver that we've been wanting to chat with for a while. He's a great driver, a great representative of motorsports in Canada and just an all-around fantastic person. Steve was utterly dominant on the first day of the Ottawa event, uh, winning the finals and dominating the heat and it was just awesome getting to chat with Steve so we hope you enjoy the interview. Hey what's up guys I'm Steve Arpin drive the JCB Ford for Lone Bro Motorsports. Awesome awesome so congratulations on your win yesterday second in a row how did it feel winning on home turf at this inaugural event? There honestly could not be a better place for us to to back up our first win of the season, our second win for Lone Bro Motorsports on my home turf here in Canada. This is so cool. The crowd was unreal. Everyone was so enthusiastic. It's, it's what Canadians are, right? It's like we're always just happy, enthusiastic, and we support one another. So to get a win here, especially on the first event of the Canada 150 weekend celebrations or the start of it, was absolutely amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. So how do you feel about the Joker getting switched uh, switched around? Because it's going to be more of a European style Joker, long way around. Like how how, do, how does that play into your mindset for the race? Swapping the Joker around today is going to completely change our strategy on that. My my guess is it's going to end up being about four to four and a half seconds slower. So we're going to have to really think about when we have to use it. You're, Instead of using it to, to pass guys and get away from the mess, the hornet's nest, what we call it, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get away. You're gonna go way far behind it. So you gotta find out. It's like, am I gonna have clear track? Am I gonna be able to drop back and put down some really solid laps to, to catch back up? Or what the deal's gonna be? So we're gonna have to play with it. We're probably gonna try something different each through each of the heat races and uh, really try to figure out what our, our prime strategy is for the main event. Awesome. So a lot of people know, obviously, that you're Canadian. Some people might know that you're from Fort Francis. A lot of people probably don't know where Fort Francis is, right? So it's in northwestern Ontario. So how, how was it growing up uh, and being a northern boy uh, in Canada? I, I absolutely love Fort Francis growing up. It, it is a small town. Lots of people t say it's in the middle of nowhere. I think I think it's awesome. I think it's heaven up there. We have the best lakes. We live right on Rainy Lake, right next to Lake of the Woods. It's the most gorgeous water. Like, I could go back up there and live on the lake in a heartbeat. It would be absolutely amazing. So absolutely loved it. Racing, grew up. A Riverside Speedway racing go karts, at Emo Speedway racing racing dirt cars, and that's that's where I, I cut my teeth, if you want to call it that, in motorsports, and and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. It was so much fun out there, the people, the the atmosphere, the environment, it was so cool. That's awesome. So I was talking to your dad a little bit earlier, and he uh -oh. was yeah, he, <laughs> so he was just telling me that for you guys to keep stepping it up, right? You know, it's obviously for people that don't know, going from Fort Francis to Southern Ontario takes like two days of a drive so you guys went south into the United States right yep. so how was that growing up you know going into the United States being a Canadian boy but getting a lot of exposure in the US it was it was tough to start with uh, the biggest thing was it was just so far to get to everywhere we wanted to go but um, honestly everyone, everyone welcomed me so much the the biggest thing we did was same thing we're doing now all the way through my career we just kept our head down and kept on digging and doing the best we possibly could with what we had to work with it's working. We're, we've made it all the way up to the NASCAR ranks, to trucks and nationwide. Do a lot of testing for Dale Jr. on the cup side. And now we're sitting here, we're running a privateer team. Incredible partners like JCB, Derived Efficiency Systems, Enios Engine Oil, Jacob Companies, and all of our other smaller associate partners. Awesome. Like the, the, the kind of people we're attracting. 
attractive to our program is the reason why this program's so good, both on the partner side and on the employee side. Awesome. All right, we have a group of six guys full time on the car, seven including me. And we've got, we don't go for quantity, we go for quality. Absolutely. And we've got top quality people, it's amazing. Absolutely. So the last question, because I know that you got to get out there. And uh, so um, your dad said it was a really interesting story how you got into Rallycross. So, so, so how did, how did you, you know, because like a lot of people do come from the oval side into it, but how, what was your story? How did you uh, make the transition? Well, the biggest thing was there are so many people from other disciplines going to NASCAR. Yeah. Right? And we were doing the NASCAR thing, had a little bit of sponsorship troubles, and the, the owner of the series called me up and he wanted someone from NASCAR to go to their sport and, and see how the transition was. And my first race, so I got a call two weeks before Brazil, the X Games in Brazil, and that's how it all started. So hopped on a plane quick, made a 12 hour flight to Belgium to do a couple, about 15, 20 laps in a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> on the ground for about six hours in Belgium, back home, and then off to Brazil. And that's how it all started. And nice. honestly, I just had so much fun. We ran fourth in our first race out. I was happy with that. And it was just so, the sport was so appealing. And every void that I had that I was trying to fill on the NASCAR side of it, this sport offered that. So we really kind of decided to make this a home and keep on going here. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us. Uh, we really appreciate it, and best of luck to you today. Appreciate it. It's going to be fun. Awesome.